Hello chess friends and welcome to the Zardov chess channel and welcome to the computer chess championship season 14. So after this TCE season 18 that's over in which Stockfish really outplayed Lila C0 with a great result. Uh, now this CCC uh, season 14 is going on and uh, the CCC hasn't started uh, yet because first these engines are playing this test games. Uh, they're playing many blitz bullet games and now uh, the match game between Lila C0 and Stockfish is going on, so a uh, test match game in which um, they play this 3 plus 2 uh, time format. And I've seen so far really great games. Uh, Stockfish is again in the lead against Lila C0, so it seems that this new version of Stockfish is really a great one. And uh, again, Stockfish will show in this game that I wanted to show today again its brutal, brutal chess skills with again immortal uh, sacrifices. So let's check out the game. Um, we have now e4 so as i said this is a test game uh though, so this is not evaluated uh as a win for instance in the uh, like in the finals so as i said the the finals will be played uh, um, the next couple of weeks so so far we have these test games which are also really great so e4 knight to f6 played by lila c0 the alekheim defense and we have now e5 the common theory kicking away the knight knight to d5 uh, d4 after d6 c4 and after knight to b6 we have f4 the four four pawn variation of the um, Alekhine defense in the game uh, d takes e5 and now after f, f takes e5 we have now a new position in which you see uh, white has this dominant pawn central control what black needs to do in some occasions is to crack the position here uh, with potential c5 moves but the c5 move so far is not possible because here i think uh, white can simply pass through and I'm not seeing a good way how to compete with the, this pawns if you play something like e6 then d6 will happen if you try for instance f6 even if even after a couple moves I believe that uh, white will simply proceed with the move e6 so again you see the space advantage that you can create in the alakine defense can be really annoying here for black just imagine if you could uh, would have this position as black to play against this central pawn so it would be really really annoying so that's why in the Alekhine, you have to be patient, you have to crack the position uh, slowly because it's not uh, possible immediately. Here in the game, knight to c6, we have bishop to e3. Knight to f3 is sometimes very, very bad because you get pinned by the bishop. Bishop to g4 would be a main line. Here, after the move bishop to e3, we are waiting a little bit, uh, black to develop his uh, light hook bishop because now bishop to g5 is not a possibility and if black plays the natural move for instance like e6 then uh, this move would bl block out this uh, light square bishop and again you wouldn't have a great activity with that piece so that's why bishop to e3 a very nice uh, move order sort of by uh, stockfish lila c0 played bishop to f5 and now after knight to c3 e6 and finally knight to f3 this bishop to g5 idea is simply too late i think because uh, white can always regroup uh, white can get out of the pin with potential queen to d2 moves so again i'm not seeing a good way how maybe white should attack here the d4 weakness because the whole game is basically um played uh, around this d4 uh, what white would love to do is as i said to get this pawn rolling here with the move d5 uh, here in the game, queen to d7, uh, played by Lila c0, we have bishop to e2, castling, and now castling also by stockfish. And here, bishop to e7. Um, here is also a line, it's I think a little bit better for, for black, it's to move f6. Uh, I believe that really you need to crack the pawn center that white has built here, you really need to do something with the central pawn storm. Uh, because uh, white would probably need to play something like queen to e1 and after uh, f takes e5 okay d takes e5 but i believe bishop to b4 or similar ideas maybe knight to a5 are good moves attacking maybe the c4 weakness this bishop can be developed but at least the pawns are not rolling in the center that's the most important thing in this position but in the game lila c0 played the move bishop to e7 and this game has been played in an international master level so it hasn't been played maybe in the top grand master level and uh, again um, here white played this very very annoying idea here for black to handle it's the move d5 as i said we want to crack the position it seems so that white has made a mistake because uh, this pawn on d5 is uh, three times attacked but after e takes d5 we have first the move bishop takes b6 uh, we are taking away this knight that's very uh, very annoying here in the center after a takes b6 you see now c takes d5 and here 
white has already a very nice position because we have now the pawn central control you see again let's flip the board i re really like to show games from both perspectives let's see these knights are supporting these two pawns you're simply pushed away by the pawns, and um, as i said this is already a bad position here for black in the game lila tried bishop to c5 uh, attacking the king king to h1 not a problem and now knight to b4 here you have several choices uh, you could do maybe the best way uh, is here maybe to play the move knight to e1 because you're protecting the d3 square and also the c2 because there is this threat for instance uh, if you play something like rook to c1 then you get uh, here a very mm, a tricky move uh, i believe that we can simply take here uh, knight takes d4 so after knight takes d4 uh, queen takes d4 and you see this pawn is three times attacked so in order to make something happen uh, white has to be careful here so if you make maybe a stick mistake here uh, a3 then knight to c2 is a possibility here rook to c1 and maybe knight to e3 there is also a very complicated line here after the move uh, knight to c2 to play the move b4 immediately so it's a really really dynamic position so but here stockfish finds even even a more brutal way that's why i really love this game here stockfish after the move knight to b4 doesn't play the move knight to e1 rook to c1 or maybe a3 here stockfish plays on a sacrifice idea with the move knight to d4 so after bishop takes d4 queen takes d4 it seems so that something went wrong because here uh, uh, lila c0 has the obvious uh, idea to play knight to c2 to attack the queen and the rook with the fourth but now stockfish finds really a great tactical way to get out of this mess with queen to h4 after knight takes c uh, knight takes a1 which was played in the game here we have rook takes f5 and uh, here is al already a um, complex position because first of all we have the bishop uh, black has the knight but the problem is that this knight cannot find a good way into the game back because the queen and the rook are controlling all of the squares here if you try for instance this wasn't played in the game but here if you try knight to c2 in order to get back with your knight in order to escape with your knight because if you uh, secure this knight then black could have a good position then you get a very uh, cool move here queen to e4 attacking the knight whatever you do if you try knight to b4 then we can simply take uh, still queen takes b4 you cannot take uh, the rook because you get bishop to g4 and uh, you lose the queen what you could do in this position maybe after queen to e4 is to move knight to e3 but again it doesn't help you because we have simply rook to f2 and you see your knight is lost because if you tr take knight takes d5 again again you get this idea bishop to g4 and again you lose uh, you lose the queen so that's why here after the move rook takes f5 uh lila c0 tried king to b8 but now we have queen to f4 attacking here this f7 weakness in the game rook to f8 was played and now a very very uh, nice move here by stockfish d6 it's again uh, a very dynamic move you see how uh, stockfish uses the spawns to roll uses these pieces to get them active this knight is not a problem now anymore in the game the pro the knight is on a1 it's basically out of game but there are now several choices what you can do here if you try here c6 then i think a knight to a4 is a very very tricky here for for black black would have to cover with king to h7 but now maybe even queen to d4 uh, is an idea so there are really too many pieces dancing around the uh, black king. if you try for instance c takes d6 then you get knight to b5 and believe me or not it's game over here because there are now many moves that you can do but let's see if again black tries to escape with the knight with the knight to c2 then you get bishop to d3 and again you see you don't have good squares if you try maybe knight to e1 then queen to a4 is uh, game over here for 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 lila c0 the only uh move that prolongs the game a little bit is maybe queen to c6 with a direct attack on here uh creating this check checkmate threat on g2 but you have a, a again a great defensive idea rook to f3 uh getting this rook in in between if you try uh, knight to f3 then you get checkmated queen to a7 bishop to uh, king to c8 and now bishop to f5 you can cover maybe with the rook but then you get queen to a8 and it's game over so see the activity of white pieces is really great white is uh controlling the board in the center uh, controlling the squares the files the diagonals all over the board 
although maybe down the exchange but uh, you saw probably in many many games of stockfish that it's not about this common evaluations of pieces it's about how active you can make them and here again stockfish shows really this brutal brutal attacking skill so here after the move d6 as i said we saw the problems after c6 and if you take in the game um lila c0 tried g5 to deflect at least one of these attackers uh, away from the attack but here stockfish simply takes we have d takes uh, c7 after queen to c7 queen to g3 uh, staying on this very active diagonal because the queen is now simply a defensive piece we want always to have the opportunity to play this discovered attack by the queen on the king so here queen to e7 was played and now knight to b5 uh, we are trying to get the queen somewhere to a3 uh, or here maybe to a4 and then creating some checkmate threats on the on the a file in the game rook to d2 played by lila c0 and now e6 this discovered attack king to a8 and now queen to g4 queen to a3 so far it's not possible because the queen and um, uh, is covering that square so you would only uh, trade off some more pieces so that's why here a very nice move queen to g4 threatening again uh, the check on on a4 so king to b8 we have queen to a4 anyway and now queen to e6 but now you see this queen comes very actively into the game queen takes g7 you can only cover uh, go with this uh, king here on um, d8 but now queen to c7 after king to e8 now comes really a monster move uh, here by stockfish pause the video and try to find the tactics uh, that wins the game you can do of course perpetuals you will not lo lose the game but that's not the point here here really find the winning move uh, for for stockfish and of course stockfish finds this tactical beauties uh, here in the game stockfish played the move knight to d6 sacrificing the knight but it's only for a moment because after rook takes d6 we have now the opportunity to get this bishop into the game after rook to d7 uh, in order to cover this check you have now uh, rook to e5 and basically it's game over you see how uh, compact white pieces are they are really connected they are really creating enormous uh, tactical threats in the game king to e7 and now even queen takes d7 is a possibility you cannot take with the queen because of the rook and you have to uh, go away with your king king to f6 but now after rook takes e6 f takes e6 the game was over but okay here bishop to c4 was played we have g4 and now queen takes e6 king to g5 we have queen to uh, e7 and again uh, lila, uh, lila c0 loses another piece it's as i said game over but it was continued king to g6 bishop to b5 h6 bishop to d3 we have king to g5 and now uh, g3 b5 and now queen to f5 it was a checkmate so great great stockfish engine uh, this improved version it again creates this beautiful beautiful chess games uh, i believe that in the future maybe the stockfish engine will be unbeatable this uh, table based engine is really great and i really like now this idea uh, to that this our engines are playing so many games because if i have maybe a base of maybe 500 uh, analyzed um, top engine games then we can really uh, sort them maybe we can sort them maybe king's indian uh, tarash uh, defense i don't know maybe uh, greenfield nimzo indian and similar ideas then we would have maybe a great base analyzed games of maybe uh, the top engine games and then we can really have a great opening repertoire which you can follow which you which can use and uh, this is my goal that's why we analyze this game so much and i believe uh, these are really great games these are really as i said the best chess games that we can see and i want to follow them uh, till the end so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot if you want to see more games like this uh, you can check out my commented chess games uh, play by computer series and if you want to see the best chess games played by humans you can also check uh, check out my best chess games of all time series and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like this content see you soon with some more videos and uh, chess is the best of course